Now this is an HP Compaq Pro 6300, small form factor, and it is not turning on. I'll show you why in a bit. But today we're going to figure out what's going on and hopefully get it running again. Otherwise it's just scrap. <laughs> so let's do it. So, first let's try and power on and I'll show you what it's doing. Well, let's just get rid of this dust. I swear, if this thing powers right back up... Okay, so it does four beeps, and then it'll ramp up its fans. Just wait for it to do it. And we get no display output. And the four beeps leads me to believe it's a RAM, CPU, or motherboard issue. So that's what we're going to check today. And um, I've already tried resetting the RAM, so I'm probably just going to reset the CPU, and if that doesn't work, I might try another, some other troubleshooting steps. Here comes the fans. Here they come. And then it sounds like a server. Yeah, there's a decent amount of air pressure coming out of this. Look, look from the, um, this camera. And then this will just be held on there like that. So it's really going for full bore. And if we take this off, yeah, there's a lot of fan pressure coming through this. So the chipset isn't even hot. Um, so that means it's just not doing anything at all. So let's power it off and basically just reseed everything. Okay, right. So let's start by removing all of these covers. I might just take off this front cover. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of the, these cables, get them away from the CPU. And then, I can remove the RAM and remove the CPU. Right, can you see the CPU and the RAM from there? No, you can't. And now, somewhat. Let's just remove the power supply so that you can see this better. There we go. Now you should be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so if we move all of these over here, we can remove the RAM. So if the CPU doesn't... If resetting the CPU doesn't get working, I might try um, just putting the RAM in one stick at a time to see if there's a dead stick of RAM because that's another possibility with this error code. So I think on the HP website it says if it beeps like that, um, if it does four beeps, 
then it's either a CPU, RAM, or motherboard to error. So let's also take out our CMOS battery, and then get a flathead screwdriver. You can also use a torch screwdriver as well. I guess I'll have to get some thermal paste, which is handily right here. So this has got a Core i7-3770, 8GB of RAM, and a 512GB no, SSD, and a 500GB hard drive. The hard drive has Windows on it, the um, SSD has Linux. There we go, okay. So let's just clean this up first, and then I'll clean up the CPU. Beware, thermal paste is really messy. Um, so now let's actually... Um, Take the thermal paste off of your CPU before you lift it out of the socket, well, before you even open the socket, if you're on Intel. On most AMD motherboards, you'll, the CPU may come out with the cooler if the thermal paste is old, because it's a PGA socket. And the other reason why, why I do it this way is because if you take, if you get thermal paste on the CPU socket, it can block some of the pins and possibly cause you issues. So there is our Core i7 3770. I'm just going to see if I can get a bit of that thermal paste off the socket cover. Well, that seems to be as good as it's going to be. So let's reinstall the CPU. Being very careful that we don't hurt any of the pins. Now we'll just close that. I'm not going to put on the CPU cooler until we just check that this thing actually boots. So let's just pop in one stick of RAM, um, reconnect our power supply, and I'll shut down the computer very quickly if it does show signs of life, because I don't want this CPU to overheat and kill itself. Well, it's not doing multiple beeps, so maybe that's a good thing. However, we're still not getting any display, so let's... Oh, that CPU's hot. Um, let's 
So yeah, maybe we should try reassembling it completely. Not too hot, but let's get some thermal paste on there and get the CPU installed properly. So if this doesn't work, I'll salvage what I can from it and basically scrap it. Because it could be a motherboard issue since that's pretty common in machines like these. It's a, less, it's a lesser of likelihood that it's the power supply, but still a possibility. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to grab another machine and just swap parts and see if they work. Um, yeah, let's put this cooler back on. Oh, I should have taken that stick of RAM out. Okay, so now let's reinstall all of the RAM. And then make sure that um, it boots. Well, it posts at least. That didn't sound good. What went in? So. Hmm. Okay, now let's pop the power supply back in. Okay, I've just got to plug in these um, the SATA connectors and then the system can be powered on. Well, attempted to be powered on. Whether it works or not is another thing. Okay, let's see if it works. That's a good sign. As long as we're getting display output. Let's just get a keyboard here and see if it'll boot with a keyboard.
know, the monitor just wasn't plugged in. Okay, I guess resetting the CPU fixed the issue. Let's just see if he'll boot, if he'll start booting into Linux Mint. Yes. Okay, this machine is working. Well, that was a pretty easy fix. So, I've been having intermittent issues with this PC for a couple of months now, and only now has it actually just decided to die. So, now that's working. Good thing I don't have to replace it. So let's just pop it all back together. And yeah, that is it. This machine is working now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share this video with your friends, comment and subscribe. Also, check out the channels. They're great too. Bye. Three. It's fine! Not even a chip! Wow! Okay. I do need to secure this somehow. Uh, minor interruption. Now if that moves, that egg will come off the ball, is it? Tripods are not amazing when it's at this height.